If someone told you a year ago that you'd get very good free Wi-Fi on a railway station in India, you'd probably laugh it off as a good joke. Today, that isn't the case. Google and Railtel have partnered to offer free unlimited Wi-Fi to consumers that come to the station. Google says that there are 6.5 million users every month that are using this free Wi-Fi across 140 stations, and they are discovering not just free Wi-Fi, but discovering broadband. They are discovering the internet. We wanted to accelerate public connectivity, and thereby found a partner in the form of Indian Railways, Railtel. They had 45,000 kilometers of fiber, connecting about 4,000, 5,000 cities and towns across the country. We thought it would be a great idea to light this up, because here is where, as you can see, you know, this is the great point of convergence. The all of India, in, across all walks of life, comes by here either once a month, once a week, or once a year. And you know, gets, this becomes not just a physical platform, but becomes a digital inclusion platform. Accessing the internet on your smartphone at the station is as simple as connecting to the Wi-Fi, inputting your phone number, generating an OTP, and you are good to go. For the first 30 minutes, you will get high-speed internet connectivity, after which the speed drops to 1 Mbps. If you are wondering how secure it is to access this public Wi-Fi, here is what Google has to say about it. Public Wi-Fi you know, in, the, in the country requires an onboarding mechanism. And as part of the regulation requirement, there is a phone number based onboarding that requires a one-time password. So we go through that uh, along with Railtel, uh, Railtel being the ISP here. And then we also, you know, the way the network is implemented has two characteristics. It has a centralization of architecture, so it's easy to scale, it's easy to make it reliable, consistent to monitor, and also for, from a security point of view, you can have end-to-end -end security because there are thousands of access points across these stations now, and all of them are connected to a central architecture. And there is end-to-end -end security between the access point and the central architecture, and thereby then comes the internet. So we kind of maintain that along with uh, working with our partners, partners who provide the devices, the access points, partners who provide the backend infrastructure, you know, we, we, we do that so that uh, this is not only just reliable, it's secure end-to-end, -end, and it's also, at the same time, easy to onboard. So as you can see, if you go through the captive portal, you just have to enter your number, you get an OTP and you go through it. With high-speed internet at the disposal of people, let's find out what they do on the internet. पिक्चरें खूब देखता हूँ, डाउनलोड भी कर लेता हूँ। अच्छा, और फोन पे सही चल जाता है वाईफाई जब भी आप चलाते हो। अब फोन पे फास्ट चल रहा है वाईफाई। इजी हो गया अब सर, वेब से वाईफाई लगा है स्टेशन पर। इंटरनेट पैक चलाने की जरूरत नहीं है, वाईफाई ऑन किया तो अपना ट्रेन सर्च कर लिया, गूगल पे सर अच्छा लगता है अच्छी स्पीड देते हैं और यानी काफी मदद मिलता है इंटरनेट से जब से यहाँ पे वाईफाई आया है आपकी जिंदगी में क्या बदलाव आया है उसके साथ मेरी जिंदगी में सर यह क्या है कि खाली टाइम में इसको पूरा यूज़ करता हूँ जब भी फ्री रहता हूँ मैं स्टेशन पे ट्रेन जब भी लेट हो कोई ट्रेन तो मैं यहीं पर बैठ के वाईफाई का पूरा यूज़ करता हूँ तो आप वाईफाई पे क्या क्या करते हो वाईफाई पे व्हाट्सअप पे सेंडमेंट कर देता हूँ मैसेज है और फेसबुक भी चलाता हूँ Now here's the million dollar question. How does this make business sense for Google? This is an ecosystem project. This is making the pie bigger, getting, getting more inclusion, getting more people on internet, not just internet, but getting more people on broadband. It's obvious that everybody will benefit from it. People come here, they use all kinds of social networks, they use all kinds of chat, they sometimes browse the e-commerce, uh, they use information services for railways, so IRCTC is used. You know, and then you can imagine e-commerce apps are used. So all that is used, and I think obviously you know Google is used in that. And obviously from a Railtel perspective, they could with the rail wire, the Wi-Fi is called rail wire. So with this, they are getting retail customers, and they could do more with them. You know, whether whether it's their enterprise network out there or whether it's their FTTH network out there, they could do more with that. So I think from a commercial point of view, that's the point that this is an ecosystem project. The pie will grow, more users online, more users on broadband. And the internet will benefit, so will we. So at the end of the day, it's the consumer who is the winner. He has access to the internet on his fingertips for free, exposing him to a world he would otherwise not know exists. 
What do you think about Google's free Wi-Fi at railway stations? Let us know in the comment section below.